Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Tuesday, September 8th, 2020. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Before we begin, please like, share, subscribe, and let your friends and family know where you get your favorite weather information from. And of course, hit that little notification bell as well, as that will tell you when I am uploading these videos. Now, we took a day off yesterday, as we usually will take a day off for a holiday. We're back at it. And we have high pressure that's starting to leave the region. So we're seeing an increase in cloud cover, but really no significant weather impacts that are going to be an issue for today. We have some low clouds, a little bit of fog here and there. Temperatures generally range from the mid-50s to lower 60s over the interior and upper 60s to mid upper. 50s to mid 60s along the coast winds are generally light but coming in from the north around five miles per hour and overall it is a pretty quiet morning out there not much in way of precipitation now take a look at this latest surface map this is from the spc website okay from noaa spc.noaa.gov okay now what is this showing us well this right here is a frontal boundary this right here is a frontal boundary we are caught in between these two frontal boundaries. To the south of this one is a tropical air mass. You can see all that deep tropical moisture and high levels of humidity in place just off the coast. Meanwhile, back here is a polar air mass with much cooler temperatures and much drier humidity. So much lower humidity, dry air. You get the point. Cool, crisp, polar air mass. In between, we have this modified air mass that we are currently in. With a slight increase in humidity, more of a maritime influence over the region, with temperatures near to slightly above normal, basically in the upper 70s to mid 80s throughout the region for highs. So overall, not too bad. We don't want to get into that tropical air mass. We want that polar air mass, get that crisp, cool air into the region. But for much of this week, we're going to be kind of in this battle. So while it's not a washout, we're going to have to dodge a few showers here and there as we go on through the week. But very nice weather conditions take hold by the time we get to Friday. When we take a look at our latest radar, you can see a little bit of ground cloud here. This is just some birds and some insects here. But down here, you see that right there? That's an isolated shower. Most locations will remain dry today, but you're going to have to keep an eye out for an isolated shower, especially along the coast for the evening hours as this warm air tries to invade into the region. When we take a look at our infrared satellite picture, notice your coldest cloud tops are out here in the Atlantic and over here over the Great Lakes. That's where we have the strongest lifting. Those cold cloud tops will get nowhere near us today. By the time we get to, let's say, Thursday afternoon and Friday, this cold front is going to really start to make a push into our region, and that's when we'll have the best potential for some widespread rainfall. A little bit closer to home on our visible satellite picture, you can see the low clouds are moving in from the Atlantic. The mid-level clouds are coming in from the Tennessee River Valley and Gulf Coast. So we get this scattered broken cloud cover feel as far as the cloud cover. And again, watch out for an isolated shower rolling in from the Atlantic Ocean. But overall, a pretty quiet day. So let's dive into this forecast for today. Scattered broken cloud cover, watch out for an isolated shower in the evening. High temperatures in the upper 70s to mid 80s. Of course, warmer as you go further inland towards the Delaware River Valley. For tonight on through tomorrow morning, watch out for some areas of fog, an isolated shower, maybe a little drizzle along the coast. Low temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. For tomorrow afternoon, again, isolated to widely scattered showers will be a threat along the coast. As you move further into the interior, those showers become more isolated in nature. In fact, most locations will remain pretty much dry. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon rise into the upper 70s to mid 80s. On Thursday, this stationary front will become a more aggressive cold front by the time we get to the afternoon and evening hours. And that cold front will produce widespread rainfall, especially along the coast. About a tenth of an inch to maybe a quarter of an inch over the interior, quarter to maybe even a half an inch of rain along the coast for Thursday evening on through early Friday morning. Temperatures on Thursday will range from the upper 60s to lower 70s for lows, and high temperatures will range from the upper 70s to mid 80s. On Friday, cold front clears through in the early morning hours. So let's say 5, 6 a.m., you still have a few showers. By the time you get to 8 a.m., 
Skies will be clearing from northwest to southeast, and in the afternoon it will be absolutely beautiful with high pressure building in. Look for temperatures on Friday to range from the mid to upper 60s for lows and mid to upper 70s for highs. On Saturday, that high pressure system shifts towards the Gulf of Maine, and that's going to produce what we call a northeasterly wind, an onshore wind, so a little bit more of a maritime influence to the region on Saturday, but dry. Look for lows in the upper 40s to mid 50s over the interior, mid 50s to lower 60s along the coast for lows, high temperatures in the mid 60s to lower 70s over the interior and lower to mid 70s along the coast. On Sunday, a warm front will approach with some scattered showers, especially in the afternoon and evening hours, low temperatures in the mid to upper 60s, high temperatures in the upper 70s to mid 80s. On Monday, cold front moves through in the early morning hours with some showers followed by clearing skies in the afternoon, lows in the mid to upper 60s, high temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. And on Tuesday, high pressure will be in complete control with crisp, cool weather conditions. Look for low temperatures in the mid 40s to lower 50s over the interior, lower to mid 50s along the coast, high temperatures in the mid 60s to lower 70s throughout the region. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino, and as always, stay safe out there.